Good morning and welcome to another update. Uh, we're continuing this week every day um, with updates about progress on um, getting towards the <coughs> what I'm calling the big lift, the uh, raising of the third floor roof uh, here at the Sandalpari Temple. So today I'm standing on the second floor veranda and it, it feels walking around here with these uh, poles going down and the curved beams arching overhead uh, like I'm in some kind of ancient temple or for kung fu enthusiasts maybe some kind of kung fu movie but it has a very strong uh, oriental quality here in this incredibly western mountainous uh, landscape a special note on the second floor veranda uh, roofing system is this curved arch that you see behind me uh, this mimics or follows on the design of the main arch that you've seen down below and some of the other posts. Uh, so that was a big step forward in completing some of the aesthetic quality of the second floor. Uh, it adds a tremendous amount of grace uh, to the front of the temple, continuing that curve under the main veranda up to the second floor. And on the third floor that roof is so, slop so sloping and dramatic that that will echo in a different way a sense of curvature and balance like Nicholas was talking yesterday so we're very excited about that piece finally coming in it was designed by Kelly Smith and Takuki Kido uh, he's a student of Rinpoche's and a Japanese wood craftsman so they worked together to get these forms just perfect uh, to bring that that Japanese grace into the temple design just wanted to show you today the beauty of this second floor. Uh, it's, it's a really gorgeous space to be in and to look out and to enjoy also being at the temple. Now we're going to go to architect Kelly Smith and spend a little time talking with her about some of these structures uh, that you've been seeing over the last few days. <laughs> 